dogs. G'day, so these are the bellies off that nice fat boar I got a few days ago. They've just been resting in the fridge uh, until I can get around to them really. So we're going to turn these blokes into bacon. They should be bloody good. There's a good amount of fat on them. I've uh, taken the skins off these ones because, yeah, uh, the skins on especially old boars can be pretty pretty thick and uh, they don't make a very nice rind it's not like your uh, average old domestic pig so just going to show you guys quickly you know how i do bacon it's pretty bloody straightforward honestly if you haven't made your own bacon head to the shops get yourself a piece of pork belly and give this a crack or even better if you catch a fat wild pig do this that way it's free so what i have in this little bowl here is my curing mix so for every kilo one kilo of pork and uh, any americans watching will just have to do the conversions themselves uh there is for every one kilo of pork there is one tablespoon of salt there is half a teaspoon of curing salt number two so you know that's the uh one that's a mix of nitrite and nitrate sodium nitrite and sodium nitrate you don't have to use that uh but it a sort of gives you a bit more bacterial protection and b uh, gives the bacon a nice pink color otherwise it tends to go a bit gray uh, there is a teaspoon of sorry half a teaspoon of white pepper there is half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of onion powder half a teaspoon of chili powder and that's the dry ingredients so what i'm going to do i've got me a tub here a food grade tub gonna put one belly in there now I've mixed this all up pretty thoroughly so I'm just gonna sprinkle around half of it on one belly sort of shake it off shake it off fairly loosely onto the bottom of the tub so that both sides get a bit of a coating you don't have to be too worried about this this bit because uh, We'll mix it up properly at the end. And then I'll throw the other piece on, like so. Sprinkle that all over the rest of him. Sort of uh, make sure that's relatively evenly spread as much as you can. And then what I reckon is the magic ingredient, maple syrup. Magic stuff, magic stuff. Best export Canada's ever produced. Right, so, uh, for every kilo of pork belly, I usually go two or three teaspoons of maple syrup, depending on how sweet I want it. I think for these guys, I'm going to go two teaspoon, two sort of two tablespoons per kilo. Two, three, four, five, six, and that's mainly because. Uh, these pork, these wild pork bellies are a little bit thinner on average than your domestic belly. So all the cures that you use tend to get into it a little bit more, uh, more easily and a bit more quickly. So then, don't know if you can see in there, hopefully, otherwise all this filming's a waste of time, eh? But just mix that all around the maple syrup acts as a carrier for the cure and so you just work it all around and try and get in a bit you know um, all this cure filled maple syrup into every little crack and crevice in the bacon there you don't want to leave any sort of big gaps so like in here you want to work it all in there make sure that you get that full of cure So that's all sort of quite nicely homogeneously mixed now. That's going to go into the fridge now for around sort of five to seven days, depending on the thickness of your belly. Uh, the longer you leave it, the saltier it'll get. And while salty bacon is good, uh, there is a limit. Uh, for your average domestic pork belly, which, you know, is sort of yay thick with fat and meat, you go the full seven days. With this thinner wild pork belly, because it's only 
sort of this thick. Uh, I'm probably only going to go five days on this one and then we'll chuck it in the smoke and I'll show you that. So every day I'll take the lid off this tub and I'll overhaul this meat which means I'll just flip each one of these pieces of belly around on itself, so upside down. So the one that's on the bottom comes up to the top and gets flipped over. The one that's on the top goes and gets flipped over and goes down the bottom, like so. And that just uh, makes sure that the cure is getting in there nice and evenly. As the days progress, because the uh, salt brings a little bit of uh, moisture out of the meat, you'll get a a liquid in the bottom that's good stuff so that's what you use to scoop up and uh, yeah keep on covering and rubbing into the into the bellies to keep the bacon uh, curing along it really is a super simple thing to make and I highly recommend trying it if you've got a smoker uh, you know it's one of the simplest small goods you can do rightio I'll get back to you Awesome. It's a smoking day for the bacon. So I just got my little uh, box smoker, gas smoker. I'm running at about 80 degrees Celsius, which is, I guess, around 175-ish Fahrenheit. For those guys that run Fahrenheit, like in America and that. So just running commercial smoking chips. I think they are uh, European Beach. They are German. German company that does them. You buy them in the, in the sort of 20 litre bag from the local butchery supply place. So you've got some good smoke happening. So I'm going to run these bacons. Oh look at that, yum. They're going to be good. So I'm going to run these bacons until they reach uh, internal temperature of I think uh, 75 is the safe zone. So yeah, these are quite thin bellies being wild pork and they will get there pretty quickly. Anyway, I'll close that up, get the smoke and the heat in. And come back when she's done, you beauty. And here it is. Two nice slabs of belly bacon. Taking a few slices off this one for my breakfast so you can have a look at the interior. The wild pigs, even the fattest of them, are very rarely as fat as a domestic pig. But the taste is superb. So I'm going to uh, run up through my slicer and uh, I really wish I could give you guys a taste through the video. Unfortunately it's not how it works. And here's part one of my breakfast. Part two of course is Bacon's natural partner in crime, some eggs. I reckon it's going to be pretty bloody good. And that there, that is a thing of beauty. It's a prime wild boar bacon there. And that is a beautiful piece of bacon. Look at that. Beautiful mix of meat and fat. And I can tell you, it tastes really bloody good. Much more flavour than you'll find in a domestic pig. And here we go. Backpacked and ready. I'm pretty happy with that. Yo, beauty!